Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Dell XPS 13 Ultrabook. There's been a lot of attention paid to the popularity of tablets, primarily because of their portability and their responsiveness. Computer manufacturers have noticed that a lot of their users have been interested in these features, which is why they've been evolving their laptops into Ultrabooks, thinner and lighter systems that still pack a startling amount of power. Dell's XPS 13 is one of the first of 2012 to fit under Intel's Ultrabook standards. But just how well does this system perform? Let's find out. The XPS 13 Ultrabook that we reviewed was powered by a second generation Intel Core i5-2467M processor running at 1.6 GHz that could be boosted up to 2.3 GHz via turbo. It came with 4 GB of DDR3 RAM, a 128 GB solid state drive, and Intel HD Graphics 3000 for video. Content was displayed on a 13.3 inch display with edge to edge Corning Gorilla Glass that had a native resolution of 1366 by 768. It packs one USB 3.0 port, one USB 2.0 port, as well as a backlit and spill resistant chiclet keyboard and glass touchpad with gesture support. Rounding out the specs are speakers that have high definition audio and Waves Max Audio 4, a mini display port, full Wi Fi support, and it's wide eye ready. The first and most immediately noticeable aspect of the XPS 13 is its design, which is sleek and visually appealing. The silver machined aluminum lid of the system lends an air of style and refinement, while the magnesium coated palm rest feels like a subtle extension of the chiclet style keyboard. We appreciated the inclusion of a backlit keyboard for the laptop, which was responsive and comfortable. We were also struck by the inclusion of a carbon fiber base and rubberized grip, which helps to hold the system when you're carrying it from place to place. It's all capped off with the inclusion of an etched aluminum plate with the XPS logo etched in the center, unifying the clean look of the machine. On top of that, the XPS 13 is an unbelievably thin and light computer, making this really appeal to users that want to reduce the weight of their current laptops. The system measures 6mm at its thinnest point and 18mm at its thickest, while the overall system comes in at only 2.99 pounds. However, while it's almost 3 pounds, the balance of the system makes it feel much lighter than it actually is. In fact, carrying it for a while will make most other laptops seem heavy and outdated. The same could be said for the noise coming from the Ultrabook, which is virtually non-existent. In fact, we frequently had the system running in the office, and with the volume muted, many of our coworkers couldn't tell it was on. Impressively, we found that the XPS 13 managed to remain incredibly cool even after hours of use. This was actually surprising to us. The only vent the system has is on the bottom, and while you'd expect it to expel a ton of heat, it stays very cool. We attributed this to the carbon fiber bottom of the laptop, which never seemed to hold any heat. This is particularly notable because the components are packed into a smaller shell, which should raise the temperature of the computer when left on for prolonged periods. Now this brings up another point, which is that for basic tasks like web browsing or word processing, the battery life of the XPS 13 is very good. Dell claimed the system would get almost 9 hours of battery life, and while we never came close to this during actual use, we got between 5.5 and, and 6 hours on a consistent basis, which is solid for a system with a non-removable battery. One thing we took note of during our tests were the Waves Max Audio 4 enhanced speakers, which were surprisingly loud for a system this small. We didn't need to turn the volume of the system up very high to get loud sound levels. The bass may be a bit thin at times, and some of the high and mid levels were not entirely clear, but the ability to fill a room with the sound of a movie you're watching or the game you're playing from such a small laptop is impressive. But of course, all of this doesn't particularly matter if the XPS 13 was slow, laggy, or didn't perform when we needed it to. Fortunately, we were happy to see that the Core i5 processor was strong and responsive. The system cold booted in less than 30 seconds and woke from sleep in less than 5, and it easily packed more than enough strength to handle most tasks that we threw at it. Plus, the SSD launched programs incredibly fast. We tested it with batch processing of images through Photoshop Elements, as well as video encoding through Premiere Elements and general multitasking, and the computer handled each task very well. In fact, we even found that it can handle some powerful games, indicating that the HD Graphics 3000 is finally coming into its own as a video option for some users. While you're not going to run Battlefield 3 on this, it was strong enough to run Resident Evil 5 at a stable frame rate, and Serious Sam 3 at a more impressive clip. Plus, it did all of this with a machine that was relatively free of bloatware. We hated the constant McAfee and Dell data safe pop-ups, but apart from these two programs, the system is pretty clean. 
Although it was great that the system could handle processor-intensive tasks, it does raise the first negative that we found with the system, which is that the battery during these heavy loads tended to suffer dramatically. If we watch stream movies on the computer, we would start to see the battery life slip towards five hours of charge, which wasn't a dramatic decrease. Playing games or encoding videos, however, resulted in just a bit over two hours of life, which was pretty significant. It also didn't help that the reporting of the battery was consistently off, claiming that it had an hour left, for example, when it really only had 15 minutes remaining. We also noticed that during heavy CPU loads, the fan would frequently kick in to help keep the system cool, which we expected. However, for a system that was incredibly quiet during regular use, the fan whine was rather distinctive and loud. The contrast between the two states is pretty noticeable, especially since the fan stays on for quite a while, especially to keep the system cool. Another issue that we had came from the display of the XPS 13. The glossy nature of the screen helped images and text stand out on the display, but we noticed this was primarily something that really stood out only when you were looking at the screen head on. There was a significant amount of screen darkening, which was really noticeable if you tilted the screen a few degrees up or down. Now this could easily happen if you place the computer on your lap. The same darkening could occur if you shifted a few degrees to the left or the right. So while you may invite a friend to check out what you're watching, they're probably not going to get a really good view. Plus, the glossy screen really bounces a lot of reflections wherever you are based on your lighting conditions, so you have to try to position the screen accordingly. There were two other small, albeit notable, issues that we had with the XPS 13. The first is that the system has a surprising lack of ports, which isn't particularly great compared to other laptops or Ultrabooks. The system has no HDMI output and no wired Ethernet port. It also doesn't come with an SD card reader, which doesn't help if you've taken pictures with the camera and you want to load them onto the laptop, without relying on downloading them from an external website or a wireless SD card that beams the pictures directly to your laptop. Compare this to some of the other Ultrabooks we've seen with the same processor and slightly larger form factor, and you notice just how much is missing with the XPS 13. The other issue we had was with the glass trackpad, which wasn't as good as we hoped it would be. Now don't get us wrong, the surface feels great, but the pad suffers from some sensitivity issues where the scrolling can be particularly jerky on web pages. It can also be oversensitive when it comes to menu selections, but less than responsive than you'd hope with some gestures. While there are updated drivers that Dell released, you're frequently finding one issue solved at the expense of another, and eventually after fighting with the pad for a prolonged period of time, you'll probably resign yourself to using a mouse. That of course takes up one of the two USB ports on the system, so hopefully you weren't using all of them in the first place. As an Ultrabook, the Dell XPS 13 is one of the first systems to demonstrate the strength of this new breed of laptop. The system is light, it's small, and it looks great. It starts up in a matter of seconds, and it has a surprising amount of power, which is excellent for those users that are constantly on the go. Unfortunately, we couldn't overlook the visual issues of the screen, the battery inconsistencies, the fan noise when it kicked on, and the other technical limitations that kept this system from truly excelling. For these reasons, we decided to give the Dell XPS 13 Ultrabook a 4 out of 5. For the latest news, reviews, coupons, and deals, be sure to follow us on Twitter, at Tech Bargains, or check out our Facebook page. And for all our video unboxings and video reviews, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash YouTube.